headed to big sky country? No question about it, Montana. And you know what? We found a guy's got a Minneapolis Moline. Now, this collector in central Montana has a classic Minneapolis Moline. It's a 1951 model UTE. It's his childhood favorite for Jim Janicek. Now, he told us only one brings back memories of his life on the farm. I got this at an auction sale about uh, 60 miles from here, I guess. It was uh, pretty much a basket case. The motor was stuck and I had to get that freed up and uh, uh, it had some bad uh, pinion bearings and brakes were bad and it was missing the hood. The grill was all beat up and missing some bars in the hood and of course it would be row crop back in the East, but around here it was pretty much just used as a standard tractor for I think the guy that had it uh, used to use it to pull a grain drill and that sort of thing and uh, when we had one this size we used it for regular farming too it was you know pull a 12-foot cultivator and at one time that's the only tractor we had years ago when I was a kid well I got four grandsons that liked to we'll sometimes take on a little mini tractor tour around here we can make a circle around 100 acres here and make a parade out of it. And of course, they're each one, they kind of got uh, ideas which one's their favorite out of all my tractors. And, and I told them the other day, they need to think about which one, uh, one of these times somewhere down the road, why they better pick one out for themselves. And who knows what'll happen to the rest of them. But like I say, I learned to drive one of these when I was about eight or nine years old. That's what's good about those old minis with a hand clutch too, you know. You didn't have to be sitting down to put your foot on the clutch. You could stop it, just pull that clutch and you're going to stop, which is a bygone deal, a hand clutch on a tractor.